I want to come home. I want to come home. I want to forget how cold it's been all these days without you and find arms more familiar than my own. I want to create more reasons not to pretend anymore and contend I don't actually need you because everything inside says I have more recipes to feed you, more stories to speak to, and I can't help but bleed through this heart that beats new when I'm coming home to you. I want to come home. I want to tell you too many times there ain't nothing more beautiful in life than to know and view the strength of your kindness. To witness forgiveness more apparent than litmus, the itness of you never surrendering to being anything but you. That I put such faith into people loving graciously, voraciously, and audaciously before I ever precociously as a child set out in search of you. And the weaker heart has always been my own. Failing more often in the face of opposition and distracting attraction, the contraction of conviction that has too long played my best friend, providing less answers to my question of top ten reasons why I'm not with you now. And I realize continental drift can't be my scapegoat anymore. And what separates us has little or nothing to do with proximity, as it has to do with the constant shifting of perspectives, the directives I receive from fear. And it corrupts me, absolutely. From the time it takes for your words to travel and heal me, leaves me too wounded and weak to feel free in a country who boasts we should be, yet only slightly loosens the noose on oak trees when our pockets are filled with rocks. When we spend more time downloading images of pussies and cocks, because I swear we punch in and punch out like slaves to clocks, and all I want to do is come home and apologize for not being there sooner. Because the only freedom I want to fight for is the right to say I love you for the rest of my life. And if the presence of your hand is contingent upon a plane ticket and a willingness to believe, and I guess I know now what I have to do.